good start leads to a good finish, and you've just taken your first step on the path toward e-learning success. In this video, we will explore how to navigate Interchange, Delta English School's very own learning management system. We built Interchange on Blackboard, the world's leading virtual learning engine. Interchange gives you access to course content from anywhere at any time while also allowing you to interact with your classmates and instructors. So let's begin. Open the Interchange login page and enter your username and password. Your login credentials should be provided to you by Delta English School. If you experience any login issues, please contact the IT Services Help Desk. After logging in, you will be directed to the My Institution page. Across the top, other tabs may be available to you. At the top right of the page, you will find the User menu. The User menu provides access to all your courses and personal settings, such as text size and personal information. In the User menu, you can also access due dates, class roster, and tools that help you discover, connect, communicate, and collaborate with your Interchange Learning Network. There are several modules on the My Institution page. These modules collect and display information about what's happening in your courses. Click the links in each module to view information and navigate to those areas in your courses. Delta English School may add or remove modules based on user feedback. Tools display information from all of your courses. For example, the calendar shows events for all your courses. My Media is powered by Kaltura, the world's leading video streaming engine. My Media is your own private virtual audio video hard drive. You can upload audio and video files to My Media and use this content for any course. My Announcements organizes announcements by course and the institution. Announcements communicate important, time-sensitive information. My Tasks is a virtual memo pad that displays tasks added by your instructors in each course. My Courses display a list of your enrolled courses. Enter any course by clicking on its title. Inside the course, you will find a variety of content, such as online lectures, multimedia, tests, assignments, and links to websites and social media. As a student, you will be able to contribute many types of content to your discussions, blogs, wikis, journals, tests, and other assignments. All Interchange courses have the same layout. The course-to-course -course navigation icon lets you conveniently access all of your enrolled courses. Click this icon to access the menu and select another course title. The most recently visited course is listed first. If you are on a specific page in one course, you will end on that page for another course. For example, if you are viewing the announcements page in one course and select another course in the course to course navigation menu, you are taken to that course's announcements page. Breadcrumbs are a navigation trail that reveals your location in Interchange. Use breadcrumbs to access previous pages you visited recently. Content Frame is the large screen area next to the course menu. Content Frame displays the selected content page, module page, tool, or other material. The course menu appears on the left side of your course window. It's the cornerstone for your course organization and navigation. Course menu appears in a list view. It displays links to all top-level course content pages, module pages, tools, websites, and grades. Instructors control the content and tools available on the course menu. By default, any course you open will direct to its home page, which may also be called dashboard. Just like the My Institution page, the course home page presents information in boxes called modules. Your instructor may choose modules to appear on the home page. In the My Announcements module, you will see important time-sensitive information from your instructor. Recent announcements appear as links. Select an announcement or more announcements to view the complete list of course announcements. 
Your instructor may communicate directly with you or send announcements and messages to the entire class. The to-do module provides a chronological listing of upcoming due dates. This module is divided into what's past due and what's due. Use this information as the launching point for your daily coursework. The What's New module provides links to course content that your instru instructor has added or changed in the last seven days. Content types reported in this module include tests and surveys, assignments, blogs, content, discussion posts, and course messages. Information in the What's New module updates the first time you log in for the day. Changes made after you log in do not appear in this module unless you select Refresh in the Actions menu. Select the Manage Settings icon to change how the content appears. For example, you can select how many days of announcements appear in a module. Not all modules have settings you can change. Select the link in a module to view more. Select the Open in a New Window icon to move the module to a different location on your screen. You can use the information as a reference while you navigate in your course. If the icon does not appear, the option is not available for that module. Some modules contain an actions menu with options to expand, collapse, or dismiss the notifications in that module. For some modules, you can edit your notification settings. If your course has a syllabus, check for your instructor's virtual office hours and preference for direct communication. To launch a virtual classroom, click the Blackboard Collaborate link located on the course menu. On the Blackboard Collaborate page, you will see Course Room, which is an open Collaborate session dedicated to this course. You can join this session anytime. Your instructor may also choose to display other unique virtual sessions for different uses. To access the course room or any virtual session, click its link and then click Join Course Room. Once you have joined a Blackboard Collaborate virtual session, you will see several icons at the bottom of the screen. The first icon on the left indicates that you have joined the session. The second icon allows you to share your microphone. If you have not set up your microphone or webcam, you may be prompted to do so. The third icon allows you to share your webcam. The fourth icon raises your hand, which allows the moderator or instructor to know that you have a question. To access the session menu, click the tab at the top left of the screen. This is where you can dial in with the phone to join the session, report a technical issue, access Blackboard Collaborate help, or launch a tutorial to learn more about Blackboard Collaborate. To close the session menu, Click the X at the top left of the menu.